Well, today is Comet 46P Wartanen's close approach to Earth, where it is coming only 11.5 million kilometers away. And this puts Wartanen in the top 10 list of comet flybys during the space age. It's easy to find, actually. It's in the constellation of Taurus. You can see here in this photo that was taken by Alan Dyer. This was in Alberta, up in Canada. And you can see some of the meteors that were streaking through here as well. Now, this was just between the gap up there in Taurus, between Aldebaran and the Pleiades. And you can see it right here. You can see it rather well. If you're in the city and you're being drowned out by city light, people are saying that they're having luck with binoculars and telescopes for sure, handheld devices. If you're out in the country, you don't have a lot of city light around you and you have clear sky, you can pick this up rather easily with your own eyes in the constellation of Taurus. Now, at this point, it's going to be in our skies for a little bit longer and then it'll obviously start to fade as it gets further and further away. But this is your, your chance to get out there and see this bright comet. And like I said, it's top 10 in terms of the space age and coming this close and actually being able to see it. So it's not like hail bop or anything like that, but it's out there. It is visible, more visible than what Comet Ison was. And right now, it's around fourth magnitude, about the size of a full moon. And that's including the full spectrum of the cloud around it. It's not that bright in the sky, so to speak, all the way around. But if you lock into it, it's definitely out there and waiting to be discovered for people that have never seen a comet with their own eyes. It's out there. So grab a telescope, binoculars, lock onto it. You can say you've seen one here in this day and age. I'll continue to update if you guys got any pics any footage hit me up let me know dabu 7 yahoo.com if i could string together a lot of clear and good material i'll make sure to share it and get it out there and also make sure to follow me on twitter eyes to the skies